Okay, and welcome back students who are taking Math for Business and Finance and Math Applications, and we're working on the Chapter 20 uh, Theory for Life, Fire, and Auto Insurance. And just as a quick recap, uh, in the videos 1, 2, and 3 were for life, 4 and 5 were for fire, and now 6 through whatever it will be, um, whatever remaining theory videos will cover the auto, auto insurance. And just as I said in the other videos, um, you know, you're responsible for what's in the textbook. I'm not covering all of the little details, okay? Um, I'm not in the memorization, so I end up looking stuff up, okay? The idea behind these theory videos is to kind of like work through the math process of it, but you're going to have to make determinations on different things, um, you know, and that's all depending upon the situation, and that means you'll have to go into the textbook. So even if I was covering everything, okay, um, you know, and you'll see that with this here auto insurance example. I mean, you're going to you're gonna have all these different options, and yeah, I can say, okay, here's one scenario with everything covered. But, and, and that's to be, to be as an example for everything that's covered. However, depending upon the situation, if all you're doing is just mimicking what's in the textbook, you're going to get that wrong because... You know that situation that you're in might not have this or might not have that or might have a little twist here and a little twist there and i'm not going to cover uh, i'm not covering all of those little idiosyncrasies in these videos that's your job to read the textbook to know what's there you don't have to memorize it but you do have to be familiar with it so that when you get the problem you know where to look in order to find the information you need as far as the variables is concerned and then you can apply the math okay and just as a, another aside, um, again, these videos are, you know, from a textbook. They're only meant to illustrate. They're not meant to be what happens in the real world, okay? Yeah, when you talk about, um, uh, well, let's just take as I'm going to, or let's just say fire insurance, okay? I mean, you know, it was a very simplistic treatment of fire here's your building and here's your content and here's your area okay and that gives you a factor well in the real world it's not going to always work like that okay and that's what the insurance agents are for but you need to have some and that uh, some grounding in order to be able to communicate with them and have some ideas to what they're talking about okay so that's what this chapter you know is really all about it's to introduce you to you know concepts and ideas but don't be surprised that when you're in the real world and you're actually getting auto insurance um, you know I way back in the uh, very first video I had given the example of you know you buy a car and if you're um, getting it from the bank you know they're gonna have full coverage Right, because you have a bank loan, the bank, you know, wants that full coverage on the car. But the moment that you pay off the bank and you get title to it, you know, you can call up and you can say, hey, you know, I want minimum coverage. You know, I only want liability and that's it. I don't want anything else. Or you might say, I want liability and this and that. And, you know, the insurance agent's there to help you, you know, determine, you know, what's best for you. But you can't you know you don't have any understanding unless you have of you know what you need unless you have some prior knowledge um, and you know this ends up being a stepping stone for um, what they they're able to provide you so you know just take it for what it is it's just an, an illustration of the concepts and to give you a grounding but in the real world it's going to look a little bit different okay um, you know it's sort of like medical insurance I mean you know we're going through uh, our you know, choosing our options at, at this point in time, and, you know, it just boggles the mind, you know, that's why they have HR people, and their job is to find the best policies, and, you know, best companies, and blah, 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 because, you know, there's just too much, you know, for, you know, each and every employee uh, to be, be combing through, that's their full-time job, but anyway, so with all that said, um, if you don't understand something, you know, you have to read the textbook, Okay, watching these videos is not going to cut it. Okay, I mean it's going to help, but it's not going to replace for what's in the textbook. Um, and if you're reading the textbook and you don't understand something, yeah, we're going to be working through problems, and that's going to give you a lot more insight as to picking and choosing and how to do the math and you know what your premiums are and things like that. But you know if you're not getting it, um, you 
definitely you'll need to call and you know speak with an instructor it's not something that you're going to be able to discuss via email because of so many different options and idiosyncrasies and so on and so forth so um, you know if you're not getting it you know definitely telephone and speak with an instructor okay let me slide down to um, get down to where auto okay here's auto insurance right Okay, with auto insurance, um, there's um, there's basic auto insurance, which is called liability insurance or compulsory insurance, interchangeable, right? And um, it covers two different uh, aspects of it: bodily injury to others, and it can be expressed as 1020, which is what they're showing in the book, and then property damage to someone else's property, and they can they express that as five. Now. The 1020 means that the 10 is 10,000, okay, and that represents you. Um, I'm sorry, that represents one person, sorry. And the 20 is 20,000, and that represents either one or more people, okay, but up to. 20,000 okay so um, if you uh, one person you know if there was a drop one driver in another vehicle okay and uh, he had bodily injury it would cover up to ten thousand dollars on that that driver but if that driver had one passenger well then you'd get twenty thousand and if the you know there was three passengers you would still only get twenty thousand okay as a, as a total maximum one for ten thousand for one person and then the an additional 10,000 for however many passengers there are. As far as property damage, um, that five is represents $5,000 um, to someone else's property. Okay. So when we look at the table, we see it. You know, it's broken down into uh, bodily injury to others and damage to someone else's property. And as you can see, it says 5M and an asterisk, and that asterisk down here says it means in thousands. So, you know, that's like five thousands, right? All right, so now we have to look at, you know, um, this is the, you know, this is the explanation for the uh, 10, 20, and five right here, which is what I just did, okay? So you can read that at your own convenience, all right? Um, but if we, um, in order to determine, let's say, uh, we have to determine the class, okay? And if the class is 17, right, which is what the textbook is showing, okay, so for bodily injury, it's going to be $98, and the uh, for property, it's going to be 160 So. It's ninety-eight dollars plus one hundred and sixty, or two hundred and fifty-eight dollars. Okay, is going to be the account is the amount of the premium that you're going to pay for the liability insurance. Okay, so it has the two components: bodily injury and property damage, and it all depends upon what class it is. Will determine the dollar amounts. Okay, and this is for ten twenty and uh, 5,000, right? Now, that's basically liability. And remember, if you're out in the real world, you're not going to see these exact numbers, okay? It's, you know, when you're talking to your insurance agent, you know, uh, the idea is still the same, but you're going to have different figures, okay? Um, now, You know, here is a basis, you know, we were talking about 1020, right? And 5, right? 5,000, okay? And that's what you're using this particular chart for. But what if you don't want just 10 and 20,000, right? And what if you don't want just 5,000? Well, you know, you'll see tables for other options, okay? Um, you know, like on this table here, you have, uh, for the bodily injury, you have 250,000 and and 500,000. Well, for that same class of 17, you know, 
that's going to cost you $228 versus this here uh, $98, right? Okay. Why? Because obviously it's a, a greater coverage. Okay, so um, you know you have this uh, these other tables, and if you look at the damage to someone else's property, and we wanted a uh, uh, 50 50 thousands or uh, it's like, you know half a million. Right, so 17, well, let's see, 50 times 1,000, no, 50,000, sorry about that, not half a million, uh, $50,000 in coverage, right? So now the premium for that is $168, okay? And whereas it was only $160 over here, okay? So, um, you know, it depends upon what the scenario is asking. Uh, as to the amounts that you would uh, end up uh, choosing but basically all you're doing is, is you're saying okay you know I'm looking at what kind of bodily injury coverage I want and what kind of property uh, coverage I want and depending upon my the class that I'm in you know if I'm in the 17 class right I'm taking the you know the bodily injury of 228 and the property of 168 and I add those together and so that becomes my premium based upon those choices okay all right so um, with that I'm going to stop here um, we have um, now that that all um, covered liability here okay remember liability or compulsory same thing right this is the bare bones minimum that you have to have on your car, meaning if your car is paid off and you have title to it, okay, you know, you can take this as the, the lowest amount that you, you have to pay for insurance. Yes, you can choose greater amounts, you know, I mean, when you're responsible, if somebody's driving that their fancy, you know, Cadillac, uh, Mercedes or whatever have you, and you do do a number on them, all right, well, you know, if the damage is 10,000, you know, and you only have 5,000 of coverage, you know, you're going to be footing the $5,000 for yourself. You know, if you decide to say, hey, I want $50,000 worth of coverage, well, then, you know, and you end up with $10,000 of damage, you're not going to cover, you know, your insurance would have covered it. But you're the one that's making those choices. Um, and, of course, that affects the amount of the premium that you're going to pay. Okay. So um, this first video on auto insurance covered this basic aspect of liability. You know, in the next video, we're going to start covering, uh, you know, additional options that you have as far as insurance coverage is concerned. Okay. So again, you know, if you didn't understand something, rewatch the video, but definitely read the textbook. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact an instructor, preferably by phone because this stuff is not easily done via email, okay?